What is going on, everyone? Let's talk about this yellow brow boss fight and how I beat it. All right, because this boss is a little bit tricky. It's kind of confusing at first. Feels a little bit of a long fight, very much an endurance battle. And I want to tell you guys that it doesn't have to be. We can very much control this fight. So let's go ahead and get started. There's three major moves that I want you to look for when it comes to this boss, and he will do them every single time. This is a very much scripted fight. Remember that. When it first starts out, you're going to get in some attacks. Whether he changes to this move quickly or not, it's coming. And that move is him turning solid gold. And if you're like me, you were a bit frustrated at first, like, man, this lasts forever. How do we stop this? Two words, heavy attack. You're going to want to heavy attack the boss whenever you get a chance. Most of the time I chose when he was just talking and gloating about himself like this. And that was the best time to execute the heavy attack. If you have enough focus to get even more damage in there, even better. But even if you don't, it may take a couple times, but that heavy attack will eventually break him down and then he'll be staggered and then you'll be able to put in a lot more damage after that. The next move is this big AOE attack. And there's two options right here you can choose. You can either wait it out or you can try your thrust attack. And if you're close enough, which I wasn't in this clip, but if you're close enough to hit this, you can disrupt his AOE attack and go ahead and put more damage on the boss as well. So that's another move right there. And then we have this ring that happens too, where you're kind of stuck inside of it. I would just hold L2 so that way my staff does this in case anything's going to hit me. And then once they were done, I would jump out of the ring. So you can jump out of this and get out of there and then go ahead and attack the boss again. There are three phases to this fight and when you get to the second and third, it will transition with a cutscene like this. And I could swear up and down that there was one time where I was not caught in this and I was able to not take damage, but I can't prove it and honestly, I'm not even sure if that was a dream or not. But you will take a bit of damage going into the next phases, which I think is a little bit unfair, but what can we do? It is what it is. So I just made sure that I had enough health to withstand everything and I saved my transformation move for the very end. So if you want to do the same thing, I highly recommend that. That way you can beat the boss at the end without having to worry about taking that last second damage to lose everything. So I do recommend that. And of course, you're going to have to do some dodging in this fight, like every other fight, especially when it comes to this move right here, where he makes this kind of lightning sword and brings it down. As soon as it comes up in the air like this, that's when you're going to want to dodge because uh, it's coming down and you don't want to get hit by this. There's also this move he does in the third phase where he just swings his weapon around and you're going to have to dodge it quite a few times. I felt that dodging forward helped me a lot. And it takes some timing to do it, but because you are dodging and kind of getting those iframes, I do feel like you're, for the most part, going to be safe. As long as you're not panic dodging and kind of following the rhythm that I'm doing in this video, you should be all right. And as we're watching the rest of this footage, just know that I was not perfect at all. Even with the strategy that I had and I knew exactly what to do, you still have to execute it and things could happen. So just be on top of it. Make sure you heal when you have to. Make sure to know that it's not the end that you can overcome. Even if you do take this much damage like I'm doing, it's not over. Don't give up. You can definitely do this. It just takes a bit of patience, of course, when he turns to gold. That can be frustrating at times just because you might be in the swing of things literally and figuratively where you just want to keep attacking and then you can't. Just remember that heavy attack will eventually break him down and then you'll be able to continue the fight. Sooner the better, right? But also at the same time, don't rush it. Make sure you have an opening to hit that heavy attack. Do not rush it, trust me. Other than that, I did use my immobilize skill when I could just to get some more extra attacks in there. But there are times where he does turn gold and it just completely negates it. It doesn't really keep him frozen and he'll combat it in any way. So. Don't rely on it, but definitely use it if you can. Same thing with the Pluck of Many. I tried to use it and then he instantly just obliterated them 
with that AOE attack. So the timings can definitely be off. Trust me, it could be not perfect, but you can still get it done. And I feel like my footage will show that and prove that, that as long as you stick with the plan, you know how it's scripted, you know what's coming, you can get through it and get it done. All right, so I hope this video helped. Let me know if it did. Tell me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.